Welcome to Eckhart Yoga. My name is Olaf. And today we're going to do Ekapara Galavasana and Galavasana. This is a more advanced asana. You have to be able to do headstand, sirsasana. You also have to do um, half lotus position or full lotus position. Um, you have to be able to do that. And also it is greatly beneficial if you have a basic understanding of the peacock potion, po posture, uh, Mayurasana. We'll start off with Ekapada Galavasana. And actually there are two variations of those. I will show you the Iyengar variation, not the Patabi Joyce variation. You'll start off at the back of your mat in Virasana, then fold yourself forward and place the hands in front of the knees, close to the knees. And it is really finding your distance because in the next steps the, the arms have to be um, perpendicular and um, parallel to your yoga mat as you will see shortly. Roll to the top of the head like this. And now you can relocate the hands so the arms are making straight angles. Toes into the sticky mat. Straighten the legs. Walk a bit inwards. Make sure that you walk in straight, so the nose is between the feet. Now the right leg, bend it, place it on the upper arm. The lower leg is going between the left leg and the left arm. Bend the left knee so the right foot is resting on top of the left upper arm, like this. Again, straighten up. Now, slowly walk backwards so you sink onto the bent right leg. Stay in this position for a while. Walk a bit further. Look up, and now try to find your balance in Ekapara Galavasana. Keep on breathing. Lower the left leg, push yourself up, maybe to downward facing dog, or back to Vajrasana. And if you're unable to do this at once, be, make sure you do little steps, one step at a time. Because you will also feel the pressure in the ankle joint, because the leg you're resting on is in half lotus position. This may also cause to feel a little bit of um, strain in the hip area. So be gentle with yourself, respect your limitations, work mindfully and attentively. I will also show you the other side with the left leg underneath. Again, from a variation of Balasana, child pose, to beginning of headstand, toes into the mat, straighten out the legs, walk inward. Now bend the left leg, place it on the left upper arm. Move the left foot between the right leg all the way up. So the foot or the right lower leg is resting on the 
right upper arm, I'm sorry, the left lower leg is resting on the upper right arm. Now again, walk backwards. Keep your attention also in the hands, look up, and again, find your balance. Keep on breathing, stay in this position as long as comfortable. And take a few breaths of relaxation. After Ekapada Galavasana, we go deeper into the posture, making it a Dvipada Galavasana or Galavasana in short. It's the full Galavasana position. Therefore, you have to be able to do a full lotus position with either your right or your left leg in front of you. And also you have to be able to do sirsasana, headstand, the first variation, where you place the hands like this into headstand. In this full position, the crease which the lower legs made, the arm is resting in that crease, as I will show you when I go into the position. Okay, so for now, come into headstand and also take your time for headstand. When you're in headstand, make a full lotus position. Again, extend all the way up, elongate. And then bend yourself, lower Padmasana, and then twist a bit. Now find your balance, try to lift up the head, extend the arms into Galavasana. All the way back to Padma Sirsasana. Back to Sirsasana. Then Go to the other arm and do again Galavasana. And also pay attention to detail because now I demonstrated Galavasana in this variation of Padmasana, full lotus position. But also make sure you do Padmasana with the other leg on top. So actually, perform it four times. One, two, rotate with the legs. Three, and four. 
thank you for joining me and see you next time. <laughs>